Hi guys, welcome to our section, how to find the C critical values on the TI-84. I'm sorry about my voice when I'm getting over a call, but I still wanted to make this video to show you how to do it in the calculator because it's very easy. So let's go ahead and do it. Today we're going to go ahead and figure it out, what is called also the rejection region, with the left tail, the right tail, and the double tail. This is going to be very helpful, not only to figure it out, rejection region for the hypothesis test, but also to figure it out, the critical values when you're building the confidence interval and when you're finding the sample. Okay, so we're here and we need to figure it out, the critical values of the left tail. Now, you're gonna go ahead and go where distribution is, which is right here. But see how the letters are actually in another color. Sometimes different calculators have different colors. So in this case, the calculator has blue. So I go second because that's the blue distribution. And then you're gonna go to in north. Gonna go, go ahead and do enter. Now, this is a function of the calculator when you give the area that you like, and it's gonna give back to you the C score. Now look how easy. I'm going to go ahead and just do 0 0.05 and then I click enter and voila, I get my value. Now if you need to figure out the critical value of the left tail, basically this is going to be negative. You can also do the right tail by doing 1 minus 0 0.05 because basically remember you want the other tail. So look, I can go here, you should get the same value. And you can do 1 minus 0 0.05, and then you click Enter. And you get the same value, but positive. What I do, I just usually just figure out this value. If it's to the left, it's negative. If it's to the right, it's just positive. Now let's do the double tail. Now remember, when you have a double tail, you want to figure it out half of this area. So what you want to do is to do the same thing as we did before, but instead of put 0 0.05, you're going to actually divide the value by 2. So you can actually just do it from here, and you should get your critical values. Now, here you're going to have two critical values, the one from the left and the one from the right. So we're going to go ahead and summarize all this right now, and you're going to see how easy it is when you have the left tail, the right tail, and so on. Okay, so here we have all our information. Now, see the left tail, when you do the graph, is gonna look like something like this, and this is actually the rejection area. So this, the C-score will be negative 1.64. Then to the right side, we're going to have the same but on the right and this is the rejection area and this is 1.64 and then when you have the double tail it's basically going to be the same but you're going to have a negative and a positive value and this is going to be negative 1.96 and this is going to be 1.96 